Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got a problem. This poor computer has had a really bad case of LSD. I think we need to do something about that. On today's episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at another DOS virus, but this is going to be one with a destructive payload with a couple of other interesting capabilities. We're going to be looking at the Digi DOS virus. It's also called Digi Deliver or Deliver Digi. It goes by a couple of different aliases, but for the most part, it's called Digi. So let's go ahead and find it. I've put it in our Windows slash command directory because as you see this is a Windows 95 installation. It's basically MS-DOS 7 is what Windows 95 likes to use. This is where we're going to find all our files to infect. But before I get too far, let me show you F-Disk for a moment. You can see our partitions there, drive C, about 2 gigabytes. Volume label, annihilate. I guess it knows something is coming to it. So, when we run Digi, we get a little indication that it's a sacrificial goat file with its size and Digi is now memory resident so of course that means it's loaded in computer memory it's gonna run its infection routines and everything from there and there's a couple of other things about Digi it's a stealth virus it's an encrypted virus and it's a polymorphic virus so there's a lot going for this so bring up our thing here and it infects .com files it might infect .exes, but it will for sure infect .com files. Now, we we'll look at something like format, which is 40,135 bytes. Run it. Okay, it's there. Run it again. We see again no change in file size, but also look at the free disk space. It didn't go down, but I can assure you that format is infected because again, of that polymorphic encrypted stealth capability that this virus has. It's it's a little more complex than a standard stealth virus. So let's do some other files. Let's try mood. Let's try, let's see, what else was in there? Oh, let me bring it up again. Alright, let's do sys. Let's do keyboard. Let's do more. Let me break out of that. <laughs> yeah. So if we look back at the directory listing again, our total disk space still hasn't gone down, but we have infected a number of .com files now that are carrying Digi's code in them. So the fun part of Digi is its destructive payload, and it activates between the 28th to the 30th of May. So within that range, the destructive payload will activate. Now, you can either boot the computer up on that date, and Digi will activate if one of the affected files gets run, or if it rolls over to that date, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So again, anytime from the 28th to the 30th of May, Digi's payload will activate. So we've got Digi in memory right now. So, we're going to simulate, you know, it's a late night at the office. You're trying to get something done late at night there. It's 11.59. It's about to roll over to the next day, the 28th. So you're busy doing your work. You're typing away. You hit enter or some other command. The hard drive light goes full on. And here we go, here's the payload. Digi Power. This is a new deliver to something whatever right by digit. South Poland 1995. You get this graphical payload, you might even hear it the audio payload as well that just loops. Control Alt Delete and you all inputs all disabled. And your data is pretty much gone now. The only thing you can do to get out of this is a hard reset. So I would do that now. 
let the computer reboot, and we'll find nothing's there. No operating system found. So, let me put a do disk here. So what has Digi done? Well, basically, when the payload activates, Digi overrides all sectors of the hard disk with Digi power. Pretty much what we saw in that visual payload. And by doing that, it basically wipes out the entire partition table. So there's absolutely nothing on the hard disk now. And we're going to look at F disk, and you'll see that there is no partitions at all on this hard drive. And you'll have to excuse the flickering. We don't have the nice 60 hertz DOS refresh rate right now because we don't have the program for that loaded anymore. So just bear with me for a little bit. So we're loaded up. Let's launch F disk. And if we go to display partition information, no partitions are defined. It is absolutely gone.